Hi everyone, I'm Ron Rookie, and today we're going to be looking at a game called the Pico Racer. Uh, this is a game that I uh, came across at around itch.io, and uh, I thought, why not uh, showcase another racer game? I mean, sure, let's, it's about broadening the uh, interest in the channel, and you know, racing games are what people, uh, a lot of what gamers would like, so, eh. Why not showcase something that's uh, simple, that's under the Pico 8 machine, under the Pico 8 systems of games. But, before I begin, everyone, if you're new to this channel, a like, comment, and subscribe really helps a lot. Make sure you hit that bell icon, and to any game developers out there who want their games shown on YouTube, give a shout out to me on X, and I'll gladly showcase your game every Saturday and Sunday, whenever possible. So. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay. Okay, so, ah, uh, okay. It's just press the up arrow. Okay. I really like the uh, look and feel. Okay, so you gotta get the flags. Okay, cool. Nice. Ah. Okay. So, it's not really a racer, it's more like the, uh... It's more like an arcade sort of game. Where you just gotta dodge uh, incoming vehicles and stuff that you're gonna go. And if you reach the flag, you know, there's gotta be a timer. The timer gets extended. Not bad. Okay. 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 That's how it uh, plays out. All right. 21%. Alright. Ah, uh, let's try it again. I really like how it does the feel like outrun, at least graphically. But in Pico. Pretty nice. Not sure what the flags do, but probably it's there to get a high score. Not bad. Cool. I mean, that's a little unfair. How do you dodge those? And the drifting could be improved a bit. If I just press only up... Yeah, there's the brakes, but they don't really do much. Okay. Heck. Alright, uh, let's try it again. Hmm. Okay. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot going on here. It's just a very arcadey sort of a game. Okay, I think we're getting better. If you have to hit that ball. I do wonder what happens if you do hit that ball. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, come on, I... Come on, man, they're drifting. How are you supposed to do that? Okay, you kicked the ball. What does it do? Yeah. Messed up. What is the ball supposed to do there? I think I'm getting a bit better at the turn. Yeah, I'm getting the gist of it. At least the turn. Okay, I think we have a bit more time this time around. Okay, cool. Ah, ah, bye. Ugh. this effect seems a little unfair yeah there doesn't seem to be a way around this oh wow it pretty much is outrun but you know a little tough but way tough it's not really a racer where you race against multiple other players, it's just you. It's it's basically an arcade game. That's that's like outrun. And I recall outrun has multiple paths that you can pick, and depending on which one you pick. You know, it, the, the environment sort of differs. I'm not sure. I... I just play... I only know... I can only judge based from the footage that I've watched. So, uh, yeah. I think it's... I think OutRun has a bit more variety when it comes to that. Darn. Okay, you know what? Let's just try a bit more. And there really isn't much to talk about in this game. It's just reaching the goal line using your 
You know, scale. They're racers racing the wrong way. I do wonder. Seems really weird to race in the wrong way. Wow. Oh, okay. I think we can make it this time. Gotta be an easy mode so we can easily beat this. I don't think I'll be able to beat it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm struggling again. Yeah. I'll play it just two more times. If I lose, then we'll just end it here. is really useless. I don't know why the ball is there. Because you can't really do anything with the ball. This drift is the most challenging. It's not for good reasons, but for wrong reasons. Because it's really difficult to make the turn here. Especially with the controller. Look, I'm... This drifting. I hit the turn. It's the most frustrating thing in this entire game. The turn. Yeah. Cool. Okay. We'll try one more time. If I lose, I lose. Are so good. Okay, full forty five seconds. Not bad. Darn it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Okay. If I lose here, I'll just end it. It, it doesn't seem... Looks like the end of the road for me here. Oh wow, it looks like I can make it. Can I? Oh wow, I, I did it. I hope it is. Yeah, okay, cool. Oh wow, I did it. Okay. Ah! Darn. Ah! Darn it. Ah. Ah, darn. <laughs> yeah, this is a really hard racing game. Well, that's a uh, bike racer for you. What do I think about it? I think it's... It's a really challenging racing game. The main challenge I have with it is the part where it forces you to turn. That's the part where it can get really, really frustrating to control. And it's gonna take a bit of time getting used to that challenge. A lot of parts where uh, I feel, you know, the game doesn't do enough to balance between the speed and the time. Uh, I mean, it could be improved on those, and really, the more I think about it, it's Playing something like Outrun, but not as fun as uh, from the, at least from what I've looked at the footage of Outrun, doesn't look as fun as Outrun. Uh, I think Outrun has a lot of uh, replay value to it depending on the paths you take. Here, there isn't much of paths, it's pretty much linear. I suppose it being on uh, Pico 8, it, uh, it is what it is. You know, got to deal with limitations, but hey, with that said, the aesthetics are pretty impressive. Graphically, I think it does push the hardware limitations, and uh, yeah, I definitely uh, see myself, uh, you know, liking this racer game now and then. Hey, if you're into racing games but want something that is a bit of uh, retro style or if you like Pico 8 games, Pico Racer might be the thing for you. So, yeah. Go for it. Well, that is it with this one. If you like what you've seen, please give a like, comment, and subscribe. And in the meanwhile, thank you for watching Gaming Rocky. Have a good one.